With just a few weeks remaining before the official start of the electronic vehicle registration program, Barbadians and visitors alike have been noticing the change in the island's landscape. Large steel frames or gantries have been erected at eight locations throughout the island, aimed at helping to reduce the large number of unregistered vehicles on the nation's roads. Deputy Chief Technical Officer of Design Services in the Ministry of Transport, Works and Water Resources, Jason Bowen, has been leading the charge in the installation of the infrastructure for the project. Now these gantries and poles are installed right now at eight locations. One location is Highway 7 Garrison. The other locations are Highway 5, 6 Roads, ABC Highway Wildy, the mighty Greiner Highway and Brandon's, the Ronamap Highway Bagatelle, Highway 3 Waterford, Highway 1 Pole Town, and the final location is the KNR Husbands Highway intersection um, with, with Churchill Street. The approximated cost for the first phase was $180,000. The second component of the project was the installation of three registration centres located at the National Cultural Foundation Car Park in West Cyrus, the Garfield Sobers Car Park and the BTA Car Park in Oystins. It is expected that over the course of this year, 2022, that all Barbadians over the year will, will go through these offices and have a, a RFID sticker installed on their vehicle as part of the, the process for the EVR um, system. Right? So all vehicles must be registered during this year for this system to be, to, to be effective. DCTO Bullion explains how the gantries and poles will function. So at each location, there will be um, loops that will be implanted into the, into the road surface, embedded into the road surface. There will be antennas that will be attached onto the gantries. And then there will also be cameras that will be attached onto the poles. Now, as the vehicle passes, the, the loops are placed in the road as well as the, the antenna in the, um, that are on the gantry that will help detect, they will de detect the vehicle. The antenna will um, obviously interrogate the, the, the database to determine whether the vehicle is, is registered or not. If the vehicle is registered, the camera will not take a photo. Technician 2 with the Town Planning Section of the Ministry, Gregson Haynes, said various civil works were undertaken in the erection of the gantries and registration centres. The civil works that took place would be various depending upon the location or what existing infrastructure was there. So you can see behind us is a gantry and pole, but at Waterford you may see two gantries and this would have been on the basis of consultation with the consultants and what existing infrastructure is in place. At the moment all the infrastructure is up, including the registration centres. We, we are basically trying to get connectivity and power to these locations. Challenges also arose which slightly hampered the progress of the work. We did have various challenges at various sites. There were unknown buried utility infrastructure. Um, we would have had COVID, positive COVID cases to some of the team, the contractor team, and that would have set back us uh, by some time. However, we are back on stream with new timelines to set and, and we should be finished in good time. The erection of the gantries and poles began in September of 2021 and is expected to be completed shortly.